Section 21 of Captain Billy's Whizbang, Volume 2, Number 17, February 1921. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Captain Billy's Whizbang, Volume 2, Number 17, February 1921, by W. H. Fawcett it happened in england both the vicar and his curate were extremely devout churchmen and so when lent came round they naturally decided that each must deny himself something and thus set a proper example to their flock unfortunately however the curate could not make up his mind as to what he should forego he therefore consulted the vicar on the point and asked what his worthy superior had decided to do without i shall abstain from tobacco said the vicar in answer to the curate's question and i can but suggest that you should either do the same or refrain from taking alcohol but vicar protested the curate you surely know that i am a non-smoker and a teetotaler oh i had forgotten that replied the vicar in that case the only thing left for you is to put your wife from you for six weeks and live as a celibate this the curate agreed would indeed be self-denial however he promptly proceeded to put the plan into action already he had gone about half-way through this trying period when one morning he was awakened by a gentle tap on his door yes what is it he demanded wondering why on earth he should be aroused at such an unearthly time john dear came his wife's plaintive voice from the other side the vicar's in his garden and and he's smoking no cheap skates wanted the world's stingiest man shuffled off finally and departed heavenwards he was challenged at the pearly gates by st peter what deeds of good did you do on earth inquired peter i once gave a plug penny to a poor beggar woman the stingy man replied the recording angel assisted by mother eve then glanced over the loose-leaf filing system to verify the claim is that all that he has to his credit st peter asked yes tis all tis all replied the angel Ah, well, then, give him back his plug penny and tell him to go to hell. Thrift Lesson Number One Do you know, said the Englishman, I gave my wife a ten-pound note for a birthday present, and she managed to save a sovereign out of it towards our summer holiday. Not bad, eh? I don't think that's very good, replied the other. I reckon my wife's mere thrifty how's that well she gives the bairns a bawbee to do without their supper and when they're in bed and asleep gangs and takes it frae them then in the morning they have no breakfast for losing it that's thrift this will be a hell of a country if it ever goes dry end of section twenty one read by alan mapstone